and also women love it so much. It's wow. a female maqam, to be honest. Yeah. Why do you say that? Oh, 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 ya sheikh. Oh, ya sheikh. No woman doesn't like this maqam. Oh. Even, by the way, the na'at, you know the na'at in Urdu, mm-hmm. they use this maqam. A oh. lot of songs, even in Urdu language, it comes with this maqam. Okay. I wouldn't no know No Pakistani about that. brother or a, a Indian brother or Bengali brother doesn't like this maqam. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله إيه الجمال ده؟ إيه الجمال ده؟ ما شاء الله ما شاء الله جزاك الله خيرا يا إبراهيم قاري ميكر باورد باي مقامات انستيتيوت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته We are now approaching the final uh, مقام مقام الكرد نعم. and the sheikh is going to give us a history of مقام نعم. الكرد where it comes from نعم. and then we take our approach uh, Welcome sheikh نعمان المقام الكرد ده هذا المقام الرائع الجميل it comes from Kurdistan uh, area I guess there's much. The Kurdish area, Kurdish, uh, Kurdish people, yeah, yeah. it comes from Turkey, from Syria, from Iraq. Right. Every country has a little bit uh, Kurdish area. Right. This combination, Sheikh, makes, yani, these guys, they gifted us this tune. Yeah, I love Kurdish people. I love them. And I love everyone, but I love Kurdish people the most because of this maqam. You know, it's a unique maqam. And let me tell you something. They innovated it in late uh, uh, 60s. Really? Yeah, they made it in Egypt as an original maqam. Of the maqam itself, it's like a thousand years ago. It's there. But they made it as a, as a maqam scientifically. So they categorized it. Yeah, categorized it, yeah. it. Because before we have seven maqams only until uh, 1962. Then it was a big conference in Egypt. They made Maqam al-Kurd as a main Maqam, as a major one. Wow. That's, a, that's the story of Maqam al-Kurd يعني, scientifically. But it comes from that uh, region. That's why after Sheikh Abdel Basit, Rahimahullah, uh, Wal Minshawi, Mahmoud Ali Al-Banna, Wal Husari, and these guys uh, passed away in 60s, 70s, 80s. After that, in 90s and until today, Maqam al-Kurd is the most famous Maqam. The majority of Al-Qur'an oh. nowadays, they recite with Maqam Al-Kurd. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I'll give you the history. The first Qari got famous in this Maqam was Sheikh Al-Ajami. He's a Saudi okay. guy. Everyone knows it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. It's very famous. Sheikh Al-Ajami just mm-hmm, read it. Mm-hmm. Everyone was listening to him in the 90s. Yes, the I was listening to him in the 90s. Yes, that's yeah, Sheikh Al-Ajami. Yeah. Yeah. After that, Sheikh Mishari Al-Afasi comes. 2002. It comes, the first thing for him it was Maqam al-Kurd and al-Nahawand because they are so close. Uh, he's super famous with Maqam al-Kurd. Then Sheikh Ra'ad al-Kurdi, he is also a Kurdish guy. Mm. Very famous Qari. And all Qurra Sheikh after that. It comes with Maqam al-Kurd. That's why it becomes so famous nowadays. It looks like it comes with the speed of this life. Before al-Mujawad, is like slow qira'ah. Right. Now people love to hear something uh, Fast know, paced. Yeah? Yeah. Al Kurd fits that. I see. So easy, so simple, so short, so good. And also, women love it so much. It's what? a female maqam, to be honest. Yeah. Why do you say that? Oh, 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 yeah, Sheikh. Oh, yeah, Sheikh. No woman doesn't like this maqam. I'm telling you. Men okay. also, they love it. But women, they. There are no exceptions. Yeah, I, I'm to telling you. you. Okay. Uh, this is maqam al Kurd. All right. <laughs> Let's hear it. The humming of it is so easy. Ah, 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 Even by the way, the na'at, you know the na'at in Urdu, mm-hmm. they use this maqam. A oh. lot of songs even in Urdu language, it comes with this maqam. Okay. I wouldn't no know No Pakistani about that. brother or a, a Indian brother 
or Bengali brother doesn't like this maqam. I'm telling you, when I'm traveling, I'm praying, and I want to let people enjoy with the recitation, right away. Ajam, Nahwand, Kurd. Wahijas, طبعا, everyone loves it, but Kurd, especially Kurd and Nahwand, for Eastern people, they love it the most. Kurd and Nahwand. Hmm. Okay, let's hear Fatih. Ah, 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 ah. Allah, Allah, Allah. Again, again, please. Do that again. Ah, <coughs> ah, when you raise your voice, yeah, salam, it fits. It fits when you go to the third. Okay. Ah, you feel tired a little bit here. But when you go up, ah, see? See? You, you feel comfortable when you go up, right? <coughs> That's the maqam al kurd Alhamdulillah. الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين last time الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين يا سلام Okay, salam. Now you you have maqam. You have all of them, but you 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 mashallah great in maqam al ajam, maqam al hijaz, maqam al rust, maqam al kurd. That's yours, Sheikh. That's yours. Your voice is ready to recite with them. Ah 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 ah. الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين يا سلام I'm, I'm so happy for that I'm so happy ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله Let us end with the adhan Yeah الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر يا سلام ما شاء الله ما شاء الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله إيه الجمال ده إيه الجمال ده ما شاء الله ما شاء الله سؤالي في ذلك زاك الله خيرا يا إبراهيم <تصفيق> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay, he's such a he's such a booster, you know. He's like, like he's your guy. It makes you feel like I don't I know I don't know this, but he feels like I know it. But I trust him more than I trust myself. So Habiba Sheikh Nu'man, you deserve wallahi, mashallah. This I, I wanted to go through the series last session inshallah we'll talk about an overview of everything we've done and I really want to encourage the beautification of the recitation of the Quran. It's part of the ummah's kind of mandate to connect to the Quran intellectually, spiritually, emotionally and you cannot do that if we don't have a strong culture and we foster that culture of recitation and recitation beautifully because it it connects people to the Quran you know I study tafsir and I could study hundreds of hours of tafsir but listening to a powerful recitation of the Quran has an effect that you can learn and learn and learn and all of that feels moot compared to like the recitation These are two completely separate activities and one can never replace the other. You know, sometimes people say to me, you know, what's the point of reciting the Quran if we don't understand it? And you should just try to understand the Quran. That's all. It the Quran didn't just come with one function. Yes, its primary function is to be understood. But human beings understand things, not just rationally like robots, but we internalize things emotionally too. That's why millions of people listen to songs because they touch their emotions. Right? So the Qur'an didn't just come to affect our hearts or to, to our minds, it came to affect our hearts. And the avenue by which Allah created that, that system, I believe is actually the beautified recitation of the Qur'an. So in our last session, inshallah, we'll talk a little bit about the effort that you're doing and what you have to offer the world, inshallah, and uh, some interesting stories. Barakallahu li falak, walakum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Here's what's coming up in the next episode in this Maqamat series. 
So this is a non-Muslim Muslim. professor. He's a yes. professor of Arabic studies in Italy, in Rome, in you Roma. said? In Roma, yeah. In Rome. And he saw the my first interview with you, apparently, yes. where we talked about yep. maqamat, and he yep. became super interested. And now he's he actually... Finished he finished the entire eight maqams, and he recited with all of them. Alhamdulillah <laughs> Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim you end up leading the prayer right and if you're if you're leading the prayer in a beautiful way that actually is you know uh, it's 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 the final impact you leave as the prayer comes to an end and we went to the fajr prayer and this brother i still remember his name brother saif i still i don't know where he is and who he is still but i i remember he led the prayer and he recited i didn't know much quran at all and he re- he was an iraqi fellow and he recited surah qaf i didn't know it's surah qaf at the time I didn't know I didn't even read Quran properly at the time and he recited surah qaf and I remember crying my heart out in fajr not knowing what he's saying there is uh, Ramadan is coming inshallah and a lot of qurra they have problem with their throat with their nose mm. they have a lot of issues there yeah. and they don't know the solution for it so Many a qurra. lot of the sessions my recitation was a train wreck also because I have really bad sinuses okay, okay so this was a little Sheikh Naba, I fixed this okay. with months Searching about things to help any qari if it ta- if he takes it, Alhamdulillah, gonna fix his problem like ninety percent. Awesome, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. For those who want to learn different methods of recitation, for those who want to improve their voice and bring it to a higher level, for those who want to enjoy and delight both prayers and listeners with their voice. For those who want to practice, inshallah, the whole maqamat practically one-on-one with me, sign up here.